Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to World of Tanks. I am so incredibly excited today, and that is because I have all of the content to talk about with regards to Holiday Ops patch 1.15 which is going to be arriving or the holiday ops will be arriving this thursday and also wargaming have just released all of the information with regards to large loot crates now while i can't be opening any of them up today make sure you tune in to the channel this thursday and i will be opening up a large number of loot crates so you can see exactly what your chances are of being able to get what so before i show you everything that is coming up with holiday ops 2022 why don't we be a naughty child on Christmas and instead open our presents early, at least in this video? So without further ado, this is the first time There's I've watched this. I have no idea. Already in the air. Yes. Which means holiday surprises are rushing towards you. Full steam ahead. Yes. What? What new tanks? Tell me, War Gaming. Large. I don't come. I can't believe I'm so excited about being sold something. Open large boxes from four collections. Yes. New Year. Christmas. Yes. Lunar New Year. As always. Or Magic New Year. Just to clarify for everyone, uh, which boxes you choose to open, at least unless they've changed it, doesn't change the contents of them. Apart from it will give you slightly different decorations that you can use to be able to decorate your garage, as I'm going to be covering later on in the video. And you're guaranteed to get a reward. In each large box, you will find gold and a decoration from the respective collection. So it's an interesting strategy that Wargaming have here. They'll always give you gold inside the loot crate. And this allows them to justify it as not gambling so that it can manage to avoid detection by a lot of other, I guess, legal environments. So what they will always present is this is what you're purchasing and everything else is a bonus. But let's be honest, people aren't going to be buying loot crates if all you're going to get is a, a helicopter and 250 gold. Or what is more, you can get even more gold if you're lucky. Premium days. days. Of World of Tanks premium accounts. Nobody really wants that. People have mostly already got the premium account, but I guess that will last you throughout the year, right? I'd definitely prefer to have the gold than have the premium time. Credit. Uh, for once, you know, if I could get half a million credits a few times, I would not complain about that. But again, rather have the gold than the credits. It's 3D styles, oh. or even one of the five tier eight premium tanks. Tier eight premium tanks. This is, look, while I'm going to get very excited in today's video, because this is always really fun for me, and it's always really fun content for YouTube and for Twitch as well. I want to clarify that it's absolutely ridiculous that if I get out my trusty calculator here, um, that like like this is what you purchase right the gold and then maybe you get just a tier 8 premium tank as well it is undoubtedly uh gambling inside the game but stay tuned for my full video which i guess will be coming out on thursday to let you know about how much gold each loot crate is worth and whether it's a good purchase for your cash what are the tier 8 premium tanks oh here we go what's this what is this the Kaliban, a British <laughs> heavy tank with a surprise. So I've already talked about the, the Caliban uh, on the channel before. As far as I'm aware, it's an auto-reloading derp tank, and it's a British heavy, so you're going to be able to train up your Super Conqueror crew. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll be doing a full tank review with gameplay, I guess, this Thursday. It has a two-shelled auto-reloading magazine. Oh. Oh. Its standard shell is a high-explosive shell with 850 hit points of damage per shot. Ouch. And 3.75 seconds between shots. It's funny how hard they've tried to balance this tank. 3.75. It's as if, you know, four seconds intra clip reload. That was far too slow. But you know, three seconds, far too quick. Hmm, 3.75 sounds about right. Dang, this thing is going to be... Hit. Yeah, it will be, especially if you can get behind your opponents. Auto-reloaders with a two-shot the magazine, Beaufort's or three-shot even. The Beaufort's Torvagen. So actually, there will be a full tank review of this one on the channel tomorrow. So once again, subscribe to the channel, and then you will be able to find out my full opinion about the Beaufort's Torvagen tomorrow. It's a durable Swede with an unusual look. I can tell it's you it's Hulfran one of... Withstands hits. From well, pretty much everything. Turret in its frontal projection 
doesn't have any weak spots at all. This thing is going to be the new hull down daddy of World of Tanks. Wargaming are trying to basically make a Kranvang from tier 10 down at tier 8 that isn't kind of an Emil or the, uh, the Emil 1951 because that one really can't take hits from those gold rounds. Given this one has some weaknesses though. Pleasant than getting them. Again, stay tuned to the channel tomorrow. I'll be doing the full details for all of you. The M4Y. It's a heavy yet maneuverable tank. So this is the premium tank of the new Yo tank tree, which I believe will be coming out towards the end of January. This vehicle is looking a bit like an AE Phase 1 at Tier 8. And so if you want to get ready and have a feel for the Yo tanks, I guess you're going to have to gamble in loot crates to be able to get this one. But if you want to wait, you're going to be able to get all of the tech tree vehicles, including the Tier 10, I believe, in a patch at the end of January. It features a unique reserve track oh, mechanic. Oh, I forgot about the reserve track means, mechanic. It does everything decisively. Yeah. Be it an attack or a retreat. Oh, I'm really, really interested to see how that will feel in World of Tanks. I hadn't even considered about the reserve track. New mechanic coming on Thursday. Probably be doing a tank review of it on Thursday. Subscribe to the channel so you can see the tank review and I'll do my full opinion of the reserve tracks. Oh, it's nearly impossible to stop. Well, nearly, unless you shoot the reserve track as well. There's one more then? The 122TM, a oh. Chinese medium tank with excellent armor and good damage per That's shot. That's not new. I can tell you that this is actually one of, if not the best tier eight premium medium tanks in the game. And it's actually very underrated. It's reliable and simple to use. Definitely is. A welcome guest at any party. It just has the worst DPM. And so it's definitely not for the flashy players out there who want to be able to get anything done quickly. The Skoda T56. Oh no. A wow. Heavyweight with a two -shell auto loader. Which is arguably the best tier 8 premium heavy tank in the game as well. Dang son, that thing is a brute. I'm not looking forward to seeing so many of these in the matchmaker soon. Powerful and attractive. Yeah. But on the other hand, when people do pick this vehicle up inside the loot crates, the statistics of the vehicle should plummet as well. So if you've maybe been struggling to get your ace tanker or your second or third mark of excellence in this vehicle, then it should get easier when these vehicles are released. It's ready to bring joy to everyone, even your opponents. No, it's not. This is a disgusting tank to play against. Points of joy yeah. In seconds. Yeah, that's not joy. That's not joy for your opponents. That's not balance. It's pay to win. Getting tier 8 premium tanks will be easier this year. Why? If you don't receive a tier 8 vehicle from the first 49 large boxes, wow. you are sure to get it from the next one. Okay, so bad luck prevention. I think that's that's very cool. Um, it's just, it'll be interesting to me as to whether the vehicle that you get is one that could be in your garage already or one that is definitely not in your garage. If it's one Check that's- Check the guaranteed vehicle counter on the large box opening screen. The counter resets every time you get a tier eight premium tank. <laughs> yeah, but what about if I have it already? Can I get duplicates? The mechanics will keep working even after all the vehicles have joined your garage. So it doesn't look like you can get duplicates because um, it doesn't look like you can get duplicates with the way that Wargaming are presenting it. However, I'm only guessing and we won't know until this Thursday unless they tell us. Are they going to tell us? What about In duplicates? In addition to these tanks, what is that? large boxes may also contain completely new vehicles. What, what is this vehicle? A Panzerkampfwagen 35R. I can't find that one on Tanks GG. Large boxes may also contain completely new vehicles. An M15, Panzerkampfwagen M15. I can't find that one on Tanks GG. Of a lower tier. Rare. A Matilda LVT. I can't find that one on Tanks GG. Oh, we're gonna have and to with wait. Their own history, they and the M485? Will become excellent additions to your lineup. Or a KB1 Shielded as well. So I tried to look for more details on any of these vehicles. I can't find them. It's as if Wargaming are just putting in five new low-tier tanks in the game with absolutely no new details available. Maybe I'll try and play them all in some kind of supercut and get the video out later on in the week. 
you will receive compensation in gold for any vehicle you already have in your garage. So if you have the Caliban already, you'll get 9,400 gold, which is very juicy for the a single box. vehicles aren't everything. No, they're not. What else? What else? You might also get spectacular 3D styles from large boxes. Oh. The ST2. Wow. Okay. My word. I had to do a bit of a double take there. Oh, that's a really cool looking style. I love it. Nice, the Saiga. Equipped with many devices for mine clearance. <laughs> I bet. As and if the double gun, barrel isn't enough. Just in case. Yeah, just in case, right? Wow, like that one on the ST2. There can't be that the many VZ tanks that 55. don't have that. Oh, the hurricane a style. A versatile warrior that underwent a factory upgrade. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love it. The Object 268 version 4. Wow. There isn't actually unique Ready style for the 268 version 4, is there? And travel over minefields. Yeah, and ram two tanks to death at the same time, because it's the most OP tank destroyer in the game. The M551 Sheridan. Oh, a meme vehicle. The Salamander, huh? It ended up serving in the Marine Corps. Now it's ready for new challenges. It's also ready for a bit of a buff war gaming. It needs a bit of love war gaming. You've destroyed the tank war gaming. Give it some love war gaming. Not just a skin. <laughs> the Reno Chirante. The Reno Chirante. Its look is certainly ahead of its time. It needs a bit of love war gaming, not just a new skin war gaming. No, but it does look pretty cool. This Very is what modern. Happens when a tank's brutality meets Italian style. That looks about modern as it gets. And finally, no way, an FB4005 train, the, FB4005. the Thunder Child, oh my word, it's the worst tank destroyer in the game, but I'm so excited about looking at it, oh that is a beautiful style. Oh my lord, that is a work of art. I'm sorry, that's a work of art. So, here's the thing. Wargaming, you put so much effort into this, and then you just throw it all into these loot crates. I genuinely think that if they were to give them more celebrated releases of skins like this throughout the year, and then maybe have like a store where, I don't know, you can buy them for like $10, rather than people having to gamble to be able to get them. I'd probably dump $10 on this work of art. Oh, that is epic. Epic. Additionally, large boxes will contain 3D styles from the previous year. Yep. This is a great chance to get your favorite style into your collection. The only thing that I don't like about these styles is... They've kind of embellished them in the same way. It's kind of, just throw a gun on here. Throw the uh, more foliage on the vehicle. Ah, go and put some barrels on the back. And then everybody kind of looks the same in World of Tanks. It's a little bit sad like that when all of the vehicles look the same. But also they do look really cool inside your garage. Oh. Select large boxes right in the garage. Wow. Or in the premium shop. Yeah. And let all your wishes come true. Hmm. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, boys and girls. So there we go. That is the loot crate reveal for large festive boxes. And these arguably look like they're the best loot boxes yet, with three new tier 8 premium tanks, and arguably the best premium medium, and the best premium heavy also available for them, with five new low tier vehicles. So it's really interesting that legally Wargaming are being pushed to be able to reveal the chances of their loot crates. And they probably realized that people like me have irritated them enough with actually doing Excel analysis and showing you exactly what the chances are of getting all of the loot in the boxes that Wargaming are having to publish it. So you've got a 100% chance of 250 gold, an 85.94% chance to be able to get credits, gold, or premium time, one of those. Some of which kind of really suck. Some of which, yeah, really suck as well. Some of which are actually really good. Then there's a 2.4% chance that you will get a single tier eight premium. And there's an 11.66% chance that you're gonna get some kind of mid style. Sorry, not mid style, you're gonna get a mid tier premium. 
and there's a 5% chance that you are going to get one of the styles. Now that shows you just how many boxes you'll have to open up to be able to get all of the styles because there's six of them. And so you'd in theory have to open up 120 boxes to be able to get all of the styles. Unless of course there's bad luck prevention and you can't get the same style twice. Or actually, no, that's kind of including that when I think about it statistically. To stop this video from being one of the longest on the channel, um, yeah, I'm not going to go over all of these vehicles individually. I've already covered the Caliban, although albeit old statistics on the channel in a first look video, I've already covered the M for Y on the channel and the Borfos Torwagen will get a full tank review on the channel tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. The styles look great, everything looks really funky, and I expect that it just comes down to now having to get the credit card out and throwing it at the screen. Unless, of course, you are from Belgium, and then I guess you have to get a VPN or get one of your friends to gift them to you instead. So now that you've seen what's available inside the premium content, the large loot boxes, why don't we see what is going to be available for all of the players irrelevant of how much cash you want to throw at World of Tanks. Finally, the most well-received event of the year which has to be Holiday Ops, has a release date. This Thursday, the 9th of December, the festive season begins with World of Tanks. Also with it, update 1.15 will uh, arrive, but with regards to new content, it's all kind of included in the Holiday Ops anyway. So why don't we watch Wargaming's video that was included in their article, as it has all of the juicy details. The holidays are just around the corner. Yep. And that means it's time for the World of Tanks garage to display a more seasonal look. They do always do a great job with how it looks. They really do. Oh. When you're back in the cozy winter town, you'll immediately feel the atmosphere. Because the Christie tank and other festive gifts will be waiting for you. Okay, Christie tank. That but is the is... first new thing. So everybody's going to be given the Christie tank. So while I wasn't able to find detailed information about the vehicle on Tanks GG, it's apparently a tier 3 premium American tank that was used in development of the Soviet T-34. It's apparently fast, it's a maneuverable medium, and it has a menacing gun. It also comes with a 100% crew, so if you're a free-to-play player, maybe you can use that in one of your other vehicles. And of course, if you'd rather sell the tank, you get to keep the garage slot. It's just the beginning. It's time to go through the Holiday Ops to-do list and to -do find list? out what surprises await you. What have I got to do, Wargaming? What do I have to do? This year, it will be even more interesting to increase the festive atmosphere level. Why is that? Even more enjoyable to get gifts and bonuses. By the way, I love the uh, the dumbbells on the tree for Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's pretty cool. Oh god, a three-barreled KV2. <laughs> you can decorate your garage with any decoration you like because okay. they don't have levels anymore. Ah, oh, so you can actually make it look good rather than just pump up your festive atmosphere. The festive atmosphere will increase each time you get a new decoration or when you place it in a slot. And as you get or more points, if you want to exchange it for another one, your garage gets more powerful and you get you more stuff. You need to get more decorations. Okay, so no levels anymore, just have to fill all the slots, I guess. You can create decorations in a special deco rider. To do so, you'll need shards. They are guaranteed to be in the small boxes you get for completing daily missions. Play every day. Or Number one tip. Or any decorations you don't need. Sometimes okay. decorations will drop from the small boxes. So nothing too much really has changed here, apart from they've got rid of the knob that used to change the level, which I think was around here or something. So obviously now that you don't have to increase the level, that was what was really expensive previously. I'll be very interested to see if Wargaming are getting rid of the whole level um, system, how rare some of, uh, some of the decorations are going to be to get. Because I don't know about you, but previously it was incredibly frustrating to try and get those level 5 decorations. And sometimes you get the same thing 6-7 times in a row, even if it was a 50-50 chance if you're unlucky occasionally. And it got very expensive and very frustrating, especially if you're trying to do it just before the end to be able to get all of the styles. To make sure you create a decoration you don't already have, use the anti-duplicator charge. 
That's interesting. It looks like instead of using one charge, you can use 2,000 dust instead to kind of prevent real bad RNG. For some of them, I would I would think that's actually probably the best thing to do, to actually use the 2,000 to kind of maybe use the anti-duplicator, but maybe I'm speaking out of my backside. One of my biggest tips as well for using the anti-duplicator is to make sure that you save your charges until your collection is nearly complete or to use them for the decoration types that have multiple chances of, of, of outcomes. So for example, maybe for your garlands, there will be four different kinds of garlands. Make sure you have three of them before you use the anti-duplicator to be able to get the fourth. Don't waste your anti-duplicator charges. They're very important. Charges are quite rare and valuable, but this year, there is also an option of using shards in the anti-duplicator. It's a great change. A great change. You may need a lot of shards, but there is someone yep. who can help you with that. Who can help? Who can help? <gasps> Who's flying in on the helicopter this year, I wonder? Who's it gonna be? Who flies helicopters and drives tanks? Meet the guest, huh? That's a filthy baseline, Wargaming. Well, he's got to be strong. He hasn't got a married man gamer body. Well, maybe he does. But not the gamer body. Who is it? Ah. Oh. This year, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in charge of Holiday Ops. He Wonderful. He thinks that you'll make a great team. But he wants to test you first. First time I've talked about Arnie on the YouTube channel. I uh, understand that lots of people have known about him, but I, I just didn't really feel that making a whole YouTube video purely about Arnie going into the game was going to be worth it. And I wanted to package it up here. I think it's fantastic. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I couldn't have picked a better a better commander to go into the game. So this year, absolutely fabulous stuff for Wargaming and thumbs up. I'm sure it wasn't cheap. And cheesy Arnie as well for making a payday, right? Complete missions from Arnie, and he will bring you nice rewards. Good. So it looks like um, every day, maybe like three extra boxes and some holiday stamps. Not sure what those are for yet. And it looks like we're going to have 32 different days to be able to complete, to be able to maybe get him. Slot for holiday ops vehicles, inscriptions, Ooh, very decals, useful. a medal. <laughs> Hooligani? What the hell? What the hell are you? <laughs> I feel no pain, only damage. I like oh, it. Let's go. And a 2D go. style with unique marks of excellence <laughs> on the barrel that replace the standard that is a, ones. That's a great style. I love it. I love it. That's really good. Apart from Arnie AR. What is that? Arnie Augmented Reality. I, I'm not sure I really want to handle uh, Arnie's chiseled body in augmented reality. That's not quite my thing. <laughs> Great start. Oh, dumbbells as marks of excellence on the barrel. Okay, you've got to be vain as well, right? You've got to be vain. I'm not saying that Arnie's vain. He's a good-looking guy. But obviously, if you want to look that good, you've got to care about yourself as well, right? And of course, discounts for vehicles that... Meaty, look at these discounts. Okay, so as you progress through the daily missions with Arnie, you can get yourself 100% off tier 2, 3, and 4 of your choosing. You can get yourself an 80% discount off a of tier 5, ranging all the way down to a 20% off a of tier 10. I think that's a little bit cheap off a of tier 10 Wargaming, considering that when the vehicle's top of the tree, I think you can get 30% off anyway. But at least the 40% the off a of tier 8 is a pretty meaty discount. Look, Gift Horse, the fact that you can choose it and not have to wait for it to come up in a top of the tree event, that's really cool. Um, this is a fabulous opportunity for a free-to-play player to work their way up the line that they've always wanted, or even for the premium player who maybe just is a bit squeezed for credits like me, at this time of year can be used even for unresearched vehicles a unresearched vehicles Arnold so that's a good point you could stack them up on that line that you want to purchase throughout the rest of the year pretty cool old schwarzenegger appears every day and don't worry if you don't manage to complete any of them right away first of all each of them can be simplified to receive the rewards quicker huh make and it easier secondly, the missions accumulate and are completed simultaneously so Brilliant. you will be able to complete all accumulated missions at once. So let's say that you've got a real busy life, as it should be. Well, maybe not too busy, but you get my point. What I'm saying is, is the system is how it should be. And that is that if you have been busy throughout the week and you didn't have a chance to play World of Tanks every day, you can still log in at the weekend and then do all of the previous missions as well. 
that gets a massive thumbs up from me. And Wargaming, that's how it should always be. Stop chastising your players by making them play arbitrarily, arbitrarily every single day. It's an awful system. When you complete most of the missions from Arnie, he will take command of any of your vehicles. Oh, brilliant. They're going to do the voice lines? Three perks and skills are available to him right away. Dang, three perks and skills available right away? The Brothers in Arms zero perk, repair, and six. So Brothers in Arms is a zero skill perk, so that won't actually count. So he's not going to be as good as like a Santa Claus. I was kind of hoping he might have been, but that's still absolutely fabulous. And the fact that he's going to be coming with also... Sense. Perfect. He also has enough experience Great to for a heavy one crew. more skill or perk. And you can choose an additional one. So let's say, for example, you actually want to put him in a light tank. Well, you can have repairs and you can also have um, concealment. However, of course, if I was playing a light tank, I might want to drop the repairs, especially towards the mid tiers and the lower tiers, and instead choose recon. So a bit of a shame that it, the, the repairs is forced. Wargaming, it would have been far better if it had been Brothers in Arms and Sixth Sense and then two skills of your choosing, in my opinion. But I guess, of you know, course, he if you've got somebody that muscly, he's easily going to be able to uh, whack those tracks off and on, right? Yeah, totally. He has a unique voiceover. Oh, come on, let's hear it. You are terminated. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So I also found a few of Arnie's other voice lines. Have you been waiting for a real hero? A real hero has arrived. Sorry, headphone users. Burn, baby. Yes. Burn baby. Don't burn the baby. I'm the baby. Goodness gracious. I don't want to do want a toast. Oh, God. No, someone's going to have big problems now. And that's not me. <laughs> they have no idea how much I love tanks and how well I operate them. I think it's pretty cool. Usually, I work alone. But since we have such a nice team here... <laughs> ah, yeah, good. I have to admit, I think the... I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Well, a bit more of the you've been terminated and a little less of the generic ones. But I understand that if it was to be too cliche all the time, it might be a little bit overkill. I think it's more important to have the, the real special lines. I terminated. Yeah. As a special treat, right? Give for gifts. completing daily missions and missions from Arnie, mm -hmm. you'll get holiday stamps in addition to small boxes. What do they do? I like the way they're using his quintessential. With their help, you can use his uh, handshake, which came from Predator, right? Use holiday post and send a gift to the friends from your list. Oh wow! You can send one gift to one friend per day. Wow! This is a small box, but don't worry, it's not taken from your reserves. Oh, so it's just free. So you can easily please your fellow tankers and make new friends. But they have to be on your friends list, so... For sending 10 parcels in one day, you will receive a friendship token. Accumulate them and receive special rewards, an inscription, a decal, and a style. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Oh, the style looks really good. I want that style. I want to have that style on some kind of a special meme tank and always be friendly inside that vehicle. Which, of course, I never am in Wolf. <laughs> well, that's... A... At least sometimes, right? You can receive only one friendship token per day. The progress of sent parcels is not transferred to the next day. Well, that means that you have to send at least 10 a day. So try and get 10 people on your friends list. Try and make friends in World of Tanks, bruh. Send gifts to your friends, and together you will increase the festive atmosphere faster and complete your collections. And if you're looking to make friends, would thoroughly recommend the Quickie Baby Discord. It was absolutely fabulous from the Halloween event. Lots of people used it to be able to complete the uh, the hardest difficulty, be able to get their King Tiger. So head over to the Discord server. I'll try and remember to put a, a link in the description down below. Maybe you can make a few friends and then do some kind of random gift giving together and farm up those points. What do we got now? Complete there are our decorations. Four of them, like last year. New Year. Yep. Christmas. Lunar New Year. And Magic New Year. For each completed collection, you'll receive a decal in a special 2D style. What do we got this year? More oranges? Oh. The collection. <laughs> it's classic, though. The orange net around the oranges. Absolutely perfect. Oh, 
I don't know. Does anyone else think it looks just a little too real? It almost looks a little too real. It's called the citrus style. Action styles are different, and each of them is festive in its own way. What's this way. one? The robot camo. Oh, that's cute. They will suit any vehicle except for the vehicles with a... The adore armor? I don't know. I'm I'm not... I, I, I like the cute little... The little... The little doggy butts, though. That's great. Unique exterior. Heat insulated armor. Oh, that's... That looks wonderful. That looks brilliant. Be great styles. I think it's really it must be incredibly challenging for wargaming to be constantly coming up with these new styles inside the game. I feel like they've done a really good job once again this year with them. There's also the fifth collection, a collection of large decorations completed to get a special decal. Oh, what is it? Ah, yep, yep. Skylines the for the FP405. level 10. Yeah, what happens? You will have a chance to complete the collections from previous years. And this, this is actually one of the best things that you can do, by the way. On my free-to-play account, I can never get enough shards because I don't purchase any loot crates. Obviously, it's a free-to-play account. But what I do have enough shards for, however, is to go and purchase previous years' styles. And you can get them massively cheaper than you previously could because purchasing previous years is much, much cheaper with shards. So I'd thoroughly recommend that if you're looking for styles and you're not somebody who has the money to be able to purchase a load of loot crates, or maybe you just don't even want to, then definitely look at spending your shards to get previous styles rather than trying to get one from this year. Receive the long-awaited reward. Long-awaited reward, I guess, from yeah, the previous years, right? The holiday ops bonus to credits. Yes! This is what I need! This year's collections and large decorations increase the festive atmosphere level. And the I don't know about all of you, but the black market bled me dry. I spent something stupid like 140 million credits in the black market last time, or even more when I think about it. Probably the outrageous amount that I spent. I'm going to have to grind so many credits this winter period in case Wargaming try to fleece me again next year. The bonus will grow until it reaches its maximum level. 50%. It's this like way, a credit boost of the whole more time. Credits in the holiday battles. And remember, this will stack with your credit boosters as well, and all of the other things that you might be running. What else have we got, Wargaming? For every new level of atmosphere, by tradition, you will receive holiday gifts anti-duplicator charges holy moly i just sorry i had to have a double take there did you see my eyes just looking over all of the amazing goodies it's pretty much the same as the previous year I've got anti-duplicators loads of different fragments for blueprint blueprints we've got universal blueprints as well credit boosters all the way throughout if you want to make the mother load of all credits there appear to be some experience boosters as well as we can see and even there's a personal training manual which will give 850,000 experience to one crew member and if you want to pump it into Arnie then you can pump up his experience like he loves to pump his guns. Holiday stamps, blueprint fragments, personal reserves, yeah, beautiful. crew books, beautiful. shards, beautiful. a medal, beautiful. a badge, beautiful. and of course female tankers. Beautiful. If I don't edit that out, you'll unlock rip me. slots for the holiday <laughs> ops vehicles. Okay, let's talk about the holiday ops vehicle slots. So previously in the years, you could only manage to assign certain bonuses to certain types of tanks. Um, so for example, heavy tanks, I believe could get experience bonuses. I think tank destroyers got free experience bonuses or light tanks did. Um, I think medium tanks got crew training. So I'm interested to see what they're going to do this year. Because of course, this is the first year that the experience bonus would actually be very sought after because a lot of people are trying to grind field mods. And if they make it so that only medium tanks or whatever or heavy tanks can get the experience, then that's rather disappointing if maybe you want to try and grind field mods in other areas. And one more slot will be personally unlocked by Arnold Schwarzenegger. So you get yourself three slots. Complete funky. five of his missions, and the slot is yours. On the fifth day. All wonderful. three slots work by the same principle this year. You personally choose the bonus the vehicles in each slot will get. 
amazing. So you can have three different tanks that you're playing. That's absolutely wonderful because maybe you suck out in one and you want to go into the next one. You suck out in that one and then you go into the next one and then you suck out in that one. But luckily, your team has also sucked and they've let your first tank out of the battle because they're no longer holding it hostage. And so you can start sucking all over again. You get what I'm saying. No, that, that's great. I love the change wargaming. That's brilliant. You're adapting for the changes that you've made throughout the year. That's wonderful. I personally am going to try and grind field mods. I'm going to personally try and use the credit boosters while grinding field mods and credit everything and just get everything. Oh, Lord. This is a great time of the year to play World of Tanks if you're a power player. Combat experience, crew experience, or free experience. Free experience could be really nice as well. You can put vehicles from tier 5 and higher in all three slots, depending... I like that as well, Wargaming. I like the fact that you can't put low tier tanks in and go and be really disgusting. I, I don't really want to see people crew training in all the low tier premium tanks, so I think that's pretty cool. Wait a minute, it says select any vehicle except for premium and rental vehicles. Ooh, so you can't do it for premium and rental vehicles. Well, what about reward vehicles? Wargaming, they probably count as premiums when I think about it. ...on the current level of the festive atmosphere. And this means that you can put as many as three top vehicles. So war ga uh, wargaming, I was just saying, so wargaming, be careful because you're going to have to get festive atmosphere level 10 before you can put your level 10 tanks in it. So that definitely encourages you to purchase some boxes earlier on, the large boxes, if they're as good value as they are last year. And make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the to the channel as as soon as the large box is available i'm going to open them up and show you exactly what the contents are and the percentage chances you have of getting whatever you whatever you can inside vehicles and slots after reaching the festive atmosphere level 10. wonderful you can wonderful, change wonderful. the vehicle in any slot for free after some time 30 minutes cool down okay fine enjoy the holiday Ah, thanks for gaming. The festive atmosphere will remain with you after holiday ops is over. Oh, into January, nice. If you have unlocked one or more slots, the tanks in these slots will continue to receive the holiday ops bonus to experience and credits almost until the end of January. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we have the dates. This is when Holiday Ops starts, which is going to be Thursday, the 9th of December. And it looks like it ends on the 9th of January. And then two weeks afterwards, you can continue to use all of the slots to be able to grind tanks in your garage. And do you know what I'm a little bit suspicious about? I'm very suspicious that Wargaming are giving you 15 days after Christmas to be able to use these. I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe on the 25th or the 26th, that is when the new tech tree of Yo Heavy Tanks will come out. And while I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed that unlike 2016, which was the the most popular World of Tanks has ever been, and Wargaming released a tech tree of Swedish tank destroyers and Swedish heavy tanks at the same time as their holiday ops event, so that we could actually play those vehicles with the bonuses throughout. I also understand that they want to try and save some of their content for um, later on in January. So I expect that we're going to have the Yo Heavies on the 25th or the 26th, and that will be uh, new things to be able to get you to log in, right? But that's later. I guess. In yeah, meantime, you're right. <laughs> that was, I did script your that. <laughs> Give and receive gifts. Ooh. And celebrate the holiday season together with us and your yeah. friends. Great, 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 great. Holiday Ops is coming. Oh, man, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Okay, so all in all, new stuff. You at the party. Ah, oh, see you at the party indeed. Awesome. Wargaming, two big thumbs up from me. You've absolutely nailed it this year once again. And my only real concern is that now that they've removed the levels from the decoration, how are they going to still make them quite hard to be able to get? Is it just that they want you to grind a lot of the small boxes to be able to get them? kind of concerns me because their whole kind of monetization model was that it was so much easier and only massively possible to be able to get the level fives from the large boxes and that's the only thing that i don't know at the moment i'm a little bit worried about but maybe wargaming are just feeling really generous and they just want you to log in and play all in all fantastic changes wargaming you've done a great job you basically fixed all of the concerns that i had and completely nailed it with the special guest of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So Wargaming has a dedicated article to really flesh out what they presented in their video. Firstly, what can we get inside our small boxes this year? 
10,000 credits, 25,000 credits, a whole host of random directives, random consumables, including premium ones, which you could sell for 10,000 credits. Probably one of the most sought after things, garage slots. I've managed to get so many of them on my free to play account that I no longer ever have to worry about garage slots. So unless they've reduced the chances, if they've left them the same as last year, I promise you, you won't have to buy any garage slots again. And maybe Wargaming will try to fix it. So try and grind as many of those small boxes as you can by completing missions every day, open them, and you'll probably have enough garage slots to last for the rest of the year. And yeah, random decorations and random large decorations, those are the things that are going to be really sought after to be able to boost your progress. The holiday post system, I think it's fairly interesting. Um, I, I wish, do you know what would have been really so much better is that if instead of the holiday post where you had to have people on your friends list, if maybe you just saw somebody in the game that then you could either invite to a platoon and exchange a gift with, or alternatively, if there was like a new checklist at the end of the battle where you could reward somebody who maybe did something really special inside the battle that didn't end up with them being on top of experience, but maybe you felt that they did something really nice. Maybe they blocked that shot for you. Maybe they helped you to destroy that tank that was about to eliminate you from the game. Or maybe it was just somebody who went back and defended the cap circle and for some reason still ended in the bottom five experience. And if you want to get the style, you're going to have to send what looks like 120 tokens over a 12-day period to be able to get the amazing 3D style. And let's be honest, that does look like a pretty darn cool style. With regards to missions from Arnie, it looks like to be able to get Arnie, you are going to have to complete 27 missions to be able to get him. So that means that the first time that you're actually going to be able to get Arnie is going to be, in theory, is, uh, unless I'm mistaken, about Tuesday the 4th of January. And so if you're expecting to be able to get Arnie immediately, that's not going to be able to the case. Be able to, That's not going to be the case. But I have to admit, I love what they've done with War. Uh, with Arnie's style and all of his iconic one-liners. Interesting enough, Wargaming are also releasing holiday versions, festive versions, I should say, of the soundtracks of many different maps, but I'm not going to listen to them in case it provides any copyright issues. And so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it for Holiday Ops 2022. Uh, yeah, again, two massive thumbs up from me to you, Wargaming. Sometimes I'll give you a hard time about things. But this, this is really a well done event that I think the whole of the World of Tanks player base can truly get behind. So thank you once again for creating this this wonderful game that some of us love to love and some of us also love to hate <laughs> at times. And I'm really looking forward to getting in and trying to get all of the goodies on, on both of my accounts. And so that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I have got tons of videos coming up over the next few days. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to hear about them first. And I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments down below what you are looking forward to most with regards to Holiday Ops 2022. Are you looking forward to making loads of credits like me? Or what kind of tanks are you going to apply those meaty discounts to? And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been Epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.